Bobby Williams. I'm the Executive Director of New Mexico Energy Manufacturing Consortium and Institute. The vision for uh, New Mexico Energy Manufacturing is that the state become a state with a strong, resilient economy based on energy manufacturing and one that can um, use energy manufacturing as a basis for collaborative research, as a basis for generating new businesses, for creating strong business leadership here, and creating a lot of jobs. And our mission as an organization is really to be the architects of the system that could make that happen. There's an organization called the American Jobs Project. And their job is to go around the country looking at each state and determining what the core competencies are for each state. And they approached New Mexico, did lots of research here, and recommended to a group of us that um, New Mexico really look at advanced energy technology as a core competency from which it could use to uh, develop an economy. And so we took that recommendation under advisement and about 20 of us met and got together and decided that energy was very important and we wanted to pursue it. So fast forward, after a lot of planning and a lot of meetings, we ended up where we are today with about three principal tenets. And that is that we want to be the kindling to accelerate technology development in the state. And we also want to be a collaborative partner in helping to develop strong, resilient businesses. And we want to also be a partner in helping to develop people, the workforce that can provide good leadership to these businesses as well as employees in the businesses. Five years from now, I expect us to be a really well-oiled machine. I think we will understand everything that needs to be done to give energy manufacturing a nice boost and a nice uh, support system to continue to thrive in the state. We'll see lots of new private industry businesses, and we'll see lots of good, high-paying jobs here in the state. Well, ultimately, the state will. Of course, the more businesses, the more money to the state coffers, the more um, support the state can provide all of its residents. But one of the key things that I think that we're going to bring to all of this, which is rather unique, is some programs that we've already designed and are looking forward to implement in our rural areas, because they've not always been on the forefront of economic development in our state, and we'd like to change that. First of all, I think the biggest problems that we have here in the state is the sort of ebb and flow of our economic stability. And that's created difficulties for us as a state in a number of areas, and education being one of them, and also our child poverty rate. We are among the, the states that have the highest child poverty. And the interesting thing about all of those areas is that having a good, strong, locally homegrown economy can help mitigate a lot of those problems. And we see the processes that we plan to employ as being a catalyst for mitigating the problems. Well, one thing they can do is they can provide us input. Um, a lot of things that uh, need to be answered and processes that need to be developed. We, of course, always seek input, but we'd like for people to volunteer information as well. If you think something would work well in an area or not work well in another area, we invite that. And you can always go to our website, visit our website, and sort of see where our head is and where you can uh, provide input. Another thing, too, is we would like for you to amplify our voice. Manufacturing is not a household word in New Mexico, and for people to begin to appreciate the new age of manufacturing, such as additive manufacturing, which is a wonderful technology that allows you to establish a manufacturing uh, base in, in a place that has little water, like in here in New 
Mexico. So to amplify our voice among the state legislators so that we can get support from the state. And we would also like for you to actually physically come and volunteer with our organization. We have lots of volunteer opportunities and we would love people of like mind to come and support and help us.